Hey everybody, hope you guys are doing good today and time for today's YouTube video on one of my favorite subjects, lure categories wise, and that's jigs. And if you guys watch my channel, you guys know that, you know, I love fishing jigs and jerk baits. Those are my two favorite techniques and I'm um, going to be covering a lot of stuff on that. You know, we've talked about jerk baits a lot. We're going to continue talking about them because there's so much to cover on them and we've got a lot to cover on jigs. Um, if you saw my video a couple of days ago, um, we were talking about, um, you know, different jig aspects as far as the weed guards today. And the topic today is what I want to talk about is the differences between the live rubber skirts and the silicone skirts. A lot of, a lot of different variations there, a lot of things you need to know about it. But hey, before we get started here, just wanted to remind everybody, if you guys are interested in any of the baits that I'm talking about, um, I've included the Fish the Moment Tackle Warehouse link here in the description. Um, if you guys need baits and just want to order them and help, you know, Johnny and I out at Fish the Moment put some of this content out, um, you can use that link and we get a small percentage of the profit. And also check out my new t-shirts. So you got the t-shirts and the hoodies, Intuitive Angling logo. Uh, you can check that out. I'll put the link in the description too. And you can see it at the bottom of my channel. But okay, let's get back to the jigs here. Um, back when I started out um, jig fishing back in the late 70s, I'll never forget it because I used to go up to, there was a, uh, a tackle store in Joplin, Missouri called Southtown Bait. And this tackle store was, it was old school tackle store. You walked into this place and you had bins of like plastic worms just loosely in these big giant bins. You had, you could hear a bubbling minnow tank in the back and it was just, it, there was so much atmosphere in this particular store. It had been there for forever. And now everything's like generic and clean and, and real sterile when you go into some type of a tackle shop. But this was an old school tackle shop. Really cool. And anyway, um, when I started fishing, I started reading articles on jig and pig. That was, you know, in the late 70s. That's what it was, a jig with a pork frog. And they sold jigs there at Southtown Bait. And I remember they were called bass snapper jigs and they were live rubber. And back then, that's all they had. There wasn't any silicone skirts. And the only variables you had is you had black or you had brown. You had two choices, and that's it. Later on, it came back. Some people started putting some, like, chartreuse and blue and different colors in the live rubber, but that came along later. And it wasn't until, um, you know, probably, I don't know, it's uh, five, ten years later when, when silicone started coming out. And, um, you know, a lot of people just quit using live rubber jigs at that point in time. And the reasons here is you got two different things. Here's, I've got a live, this is a uh, live rubber jig that I tied up myself. And this is a traditional silicone skirt um, on the Mega Bass Uzo Swimmer. Um, this is just a homemade jig with a skirt I tied on it. So you can notice the difference there. Okay, first of all, <clears throat> the difference. The difference between live rubber and silicone skirt, the biggest difference is the color options that you have. One of the biggest advantages of a silicone skirt on a jig is you've got a wide range of colors. You've got every type of greens, you've got the browns, you've got the darks, you've got the shad patterns. You can match the water clarity um, with the silicone skirt so much better. And that's that really you know, elevated jig fishing to the next level. He could really, you could tweak jigs out, make them look like they'd never looked before. Because in the past, basically when we had the live rubber jigs like this, the only thing we had is we either teamed it up with a black pork frog or a brown pork frog. That's all we had. There wasn't anything, there wasn't at this time in the late seventies, we didn't have even, even have blue pork frogs. It was black or brown. So most of the time we would have a contrasting color, like on a brown jig, I'd put a black pork frog on a black jig, I'd put a uh, brown pork frog, and sometimes I'd put black on black and brown on brown. I'd just mix it up a little bit. And I learned how to do this at Table Rock Lake. You know, I did most, you know, 90% of my jig fishing on Table Rock Lake, some on Grand Lake back then. But this was the standard deal. Live rubber jig with the pork frog on it up until, you know, the, the 80s really, the, up in the mid part of the 80s. So the question is, is, I've seen live rubber starting to make a comeback and I've never quit using it. I've used it, you know, throughout my entire career. I never stopped using it because I was spark sponsored by Lunker Lure for years and that's all I used. They would hand tie me <clears throat> different colors of live rubber on my jigs and that's my favorite deal. I mean, 
I'll say right off the bat, when you're talking about silicone versus live rubber, my favorite is live rubber. And the reason I like li live rubber more is w when it's in the water, it creates a look, it creates a flare that you simply can't duplicate with the silicone skirt. The silicone skirt, uh, since it's just the nature of the material on it, it lays flatter, it doesn't uh, poof out as much. And depending upon how you tie this jig, you can create like a collar on it, like a, it's really poofy. You can like put double the amount of live rubber in it, cut it real short and make it just, you know, really gnarly looking. You can create a look with the live rubber jig that you simply can't create with a silicone. And the times that I found this to work better and the times that I like the live rubber is any time that I'm fishing dirtier water, um, particularly around heavy cover. If I'm flipping bushes, if I'm flipping lay downs, that type of stuff, live rubber, it seems like it gets me a lot more bites because it creates a little bit bulkier profile. I also have done really good uh, on live rubber jigs fishing current. And if you go back in some of my old videos, I did a video on uh, the Bassmaster Open. I fished at a, at a yeah, Lay Lake uh, this past fall. And if you go back and look at that video, I'm catching all my fish in that tournament on this jig right here on the live rubber jig in the current in heavy cover, that type of stuff. So I've just caught so many big fish on the live rubber that I prefer it if I can get away with it. Another reason I prefer live rubber is people just don't fish it anymore because you can't go out and buy a live rubber jig hardly that I'm aware of. Guys that use live rubber, are they time themselves. They hand tie these things. I'll probably do a video later on at some point on, on how to hand tie these things. But not to say because there's still applications for the silicone jig. And the silicone jig, it's um, I actually use the silicone skirt more than I do the live rubber now, even though I prefer to use live rubber but it's a situational thing. The thing that I like about silicone is I can match the water clarity, I mean, almost exactly. If I'm fishing, you know, less than two foot of visibility, I can create a dark jig with different type of colors in it. If I'm fishing that two to four foot of water, I can go to a little bit more natural colors like some browns and greens, peanut butter and jelly, that type of stuff. And if I'm fishing real clear water, I can go with um, watermelon colors, different shades of green pumpkin that have different flakes in it. And one of the big things about skirts, and this is a topic for another uh, video, is skirt options as far as the color and the flake that goes in it in correlation with the trailer they're using, that you're using on the jig, makes a big difference in getting strikes. <clears throat> so those are the big uh, two very, two, big two, you know, differences in the thing. But anyway, just, just a quick overview of what we're talking about in this video, I want to keep it pretty simple, is try, start trying to use these live rubber jigs. You know, if you're fishing heavy cover, off-colored water, doesn't really matter what the water uh, temperature is, it always works better with that, particularly if you're in a situation where it requires a bigger trailer. You know, I like the the Zoom, you know, the, the big salty chunk on it, super chunk, the big profile trailers, that's when I use the, uh, the live rubber. And the silicone skirts, that's when I want to create a little bit more finessey look and match the water clarity specifically better. Those are the two differences in that. Don't get locked in on one or the other because part of jig fishing, it's sort of like jerkbait fishing. There's a lot of variables to it. A lot of people try to oversimplify jigs and people have a big tendency to want to over, oversimplify their fishing lure techniques in general. But in jigs, there's a tremendous amount of variables that, that goes with it. You've got the the, the skirt material, you got the colors, you got the flake, you got the hook, you got the weed guard, you got the eye tie, you got the angle of the head, you know, the profile of the head, you got the trailers that go with it, you got the length of the skirt that goes on the jig, you got the number of fibers in the jig, the number of skirt layers. There's just a ton to it, and we're going to cover all of it at some point. But anyway, that's today's tip live rubber versus silicone. They're both great, they both have their applications in fishing, and they're both. Um, materials that you need to be fishing if you're not. So anyway, that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. <clears throat> if you did, you know, hit the like button down there. Appreciate it. And we'll be back tomorrow with another one. See you.